Hello everyone, it's Dawn here. I'm back again with our second in our series from Paper Craft Society Box 34. And today we're not going to be doing any embroidery, but what we are going to be doing, we're going to be using a piece of our parchment and we are going to be using our butterfly frame stencil. Now I have to let you into a little secret here. I'm not much good at parchment craft, so I'm probably not the best person to show you how to do it. But what we are going to do, we're going to be using it in a slightly different way, which is not at all unusual on this channel, I know. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to, again, similar to yesterday's project, if you were able to join me, I'm going to show you the process and then I'm going to show you how I'm going to finish it off. So I'm just going to lay my stencil over my parchment paper and I'm going to use one of my alcohol pens just to colour in here, in these little gaps in the stencils. Now, if you don't want to do that, or if you haven't got pens, you can use your inks, you can ink through there. If you've got some ink blenders, you can do that. But I'm going to do that. I won't uh, go all the way around, but I'll just do a couple, maybe another one. And I'm going to do this, and we will eventually, once we do it fully, we will go all the way around, but we won't go all the way around now. This is just really to show you the process. And once you've done that, okay, I have used a slightly different, a softer shade of pink to do that. But once you've done that, in whatever colour you're using, you don't have to use pink, of course, you can use whatever colour you wish. You will have a frame that looks like that. And what I'm actually going to do is turn it over. Actually, that, that was the right. That is the side that I coloured on but I'm actually going to turn it over and have it slightly muted. And so what I've done, I'll pop that there so that you can see it. I've taken a piece of the lilac paper or card from the box and all I've done is I've folded it in half like that. And I'm going to keep, this time I'm going to keep the fold at the top and that will make a six by four card. Now, as we discovered yesterday, these wonderful runner tapes will add parchment or vellum to your card without it showing. So I'm going to run a border around there and just one through the middle. Actually, we could do a couple. So we're just going to put some runner tape on like that. Whoops, that's the trouble with doing it is runner tape and sticks to your fingers, but never mind. So I'm going to have it with the, that's the cut side I coloured on. So I'm going to flip it and have it that way round. Line it up with the bottom edges. If you want to line it up with the top edges, that's absolutely fine. And I'm going to press it down. Now, there is a little bit there that you can see. So there are several ways you can cover that up. You can put some embellishments on the edge if you want to, but I'm going to mask this a little bit because what we're going to do, I'm just going to, I've got my heat gun out and what we are going to do, we're going to do a little bit of heat embossing. I know that's not what came with the group with the box, but I'm going to do a little bit of heat embossing. So I'm just, I won't actually, I won't turn it on yet. I'll turn it on as we need it because it is, they are a bit noisy. But because I'm going to be using gold, in fact, what I'll do, I'll take the stopper out ready so that I don't have to wait too long because it won't take too long to dry. Now, what I've done here, in case you haven't seen my demonstration of this, this is an ordinary acrylic stamping block, but I've used some hot glue to add a crystal draw knob to this so that I get a good pressure. So all you do is you put your the flat side of your knob down, so to speak, put some hot glue between them and stick the two together. Very, very easy. So I'm going to ink mine up. So to hold it, to actually ink it up, what you do is you just grasp the, the draw knob that you've put on. And I'm using yellow because I don't want a dark one to show up. I don't want a dark ink to show through. So I'm going to use yellow and hope to goodness it'll be okay. I'm sure it will. So we're just going to ink this up like this. Nice and bright. I like this yellow because it's nice and subtle and it'll show up the beautiful gold that I'm going to be using very well. So we're going to put that over there and I'm going to make sure that that's in the middle. You'll see which stamp I'm using in a minute. 
So with that knob, you can just give it a good press like that. And it'll come up. You can't see that yet, but you will, I hope. So we're just going to sprinkle some, I was going to say fairy dust, it's not fairy dust, it's embossing powder. We're going to sprinkle some embossing powder over there. And for now, because this is stiff, I'm going to tap this off to the side of my, to the side of my, my video here. And then you can see what it looks like. Now I'm going to pop that on there straight away. And now, this doesn't make too much of a noise, but I'm afraid it will make a little bit of a noise. So we'll just give it a few seconds to heat up. So there we go, there. So I'm just going to bring this over here and you'll start to see it bubble up in a minute. And as you can see, it says birthday wishes and butterfly kisses. So I've got this on the gentle setting because we've only got it on parchment paper and I don't want it to bubble. Even though it's stuck down, it could bubble. And I don't want it to bubble. So we're going to just go across there. It's heating up quite nicely now. There we go. Oh, that's wonderful. So that will go, as you can see it changing colour, that's when you know that it's working. So we're going to go across there like that. Watch it change colour, which is my favourite bit of heat embossing. Watching it change colour. So we'll just do that. Get that bit done there. For whatever reason that didn't go, but it is this time. So once it starts, it won't take very long at all. So there we go. We're going to turn that off now. There. Sorry about the noise, but it's one of those things that's unavoidable. So it has warped a little bit, but once it's dry or once it's cooled, that warping will go away and it will still stand up very nicely. And if you're worried about the warping, what you can do is once this is cooled down a bit, you can just put a book on top of it. But don't do that until this is cooled down. But once it's cooled, it may warp, it'll, you'll probably find that the warping will flatten out. So there we go. There is our butterfly frame with an embossed, with a heat embossed sentiment in the middle. Now, if you wanted to, we could put some embellishments on here to cover that up. But I'm actually not that bothered about it. It doesn't look too bad. So I'm going to leave it like that. I may put some embellishments on these corners later, but I probably won't. So I hope you've enjoyed that. And I hope you can come back next time. There'll be no video tomorrow because I've got, I'm afraid I've got a few personal and family things to do. But I will be back on Thursday with another project from the same box. And so please do come back and see what I get up to and what elements I use next time. So thank you very much for watching. I do hope you've enjoyed it. Have fun, everybody. Take care. And as always, happy crafting. Bye bye for now.